The deal. Some days, you wake up, you want to start a new game of sound line. You want to give yourself an S rank run, but you only have 10 minutes until your game explodes. Here's what you do. Uh, you go down here. Da, 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 you can start selling stuff. Sell this, sell this. You don't need it. Sell all, all this crap. Go over here, sell this. Sell this, because you want to get another $8,000. Go over here, sell this generator. Who needs it? Now, go over here. Buy. Right? Buy a machine gun arms. Need those. Thinking, wow, that's dumb. That's really dumb. You don't need machine gun arms from an S rank, you'll never get one. Doesn't matter. Just don't ask. Now, unfortunately, can't get that, so get this. Now, go over here, slap it all together, and it'll just kind of put itself together. Don't worry about it. <laughs> then you suddenly realize that the portable remake has slow as crap low times. Now, go to the arena. Take out Little Bear. Should be just under a minute here. Pop out the quad arms, do your overboost, go friggin' eliminate his entire self. Backpedal a little bit, so he just goes and he takes all the damage from all of them, then he's just gonna get himself stunned. You do this, and yeah, he's gone. And that's that. Now, what we basically need to do is take three fights. I uh, need to take out the first three, because they're the only ones that are gonna be able to uh, be shredded down by these arms early on. Uh, Cobalt Flu uh, gets to the point where he actually will be able to resist them just well enough to be able to survive the entire clip, so you need a secondary weapon in order to take him out. Which doesn't matter because his stuff isn't really needed anyway, this stuff is just for a tiny little bit of extra cash. Because this gets a little bit precise, so switch over the other arms. This guy, I uh, want to go ahead and uh, actually let him charge at you a little bit more, he just charges entirely. So there we go, take him out. For some reason, it glitches out when you get to the very back, who knows why. So if you get stuck at the very back and your bullets start suddenly disappearing, don't worry about it. It happens. Um, either way, we're pretty much good now. So, really, we have enough to continue, but we want to get an extra 10,000 from going and taking out this uh, little bouquet. Da -da -da. So we go to bouquet, fight them here. Uh, they like to move side to side. It's a little bit annoying sometimes. But if you want to just get right in their face, and just completely blow them away. There we go, she's already overheated. Now, get her close to the wall, and just completely lay in. Generally, as close as you are, well, the closer you are, the better you'll do in this. Because while she has those bazooka arms, these things, uh, she will not fire as fast as they can, so don't worry about it. Now, there's a chance that she can outright tread you, if she ends up going and getting a double A shot on you, but she won't. She doesn't like doing that. Now. That's all well and good. Moving on. So Cobalt Blue is going to resist it, so we're going to go ahead and just ignore him. Now, we move on to here. Uh, we go and we uh, sell these arms. Don't need them anymore. Don't need them for an S-Rank. So we go over here, sell these boosters. Sell this. Uh, sell this generator, and there we go. Forgot to sell the howitzer. We sell the howitzer because we need that cash. Go and sell that howitzer because uh, that's what uh, people that aren't spazzing out from having way too much coffee are doing. Now, we go over here. Buy back those cheapo arms. Honestly, it would be nice to have these ones. These are much nicer in general. We'll be upgrading to those later. Now, we we'll go over here. Uh, we want to get a bit of a different situation going on, so we get the DE-905 because it's amazing. Then we're going to go over here, we get the WS-1 because it's simply the best and somehow inexplicably super cheap. Go over here, pick up that. Now we go over here, and we uh, go ahead and pick up this Pulse Rifle. Pulse Rifle's awesome. So, hmm. Then we listen to the background, and there's a baby that wants to talk. So, commentary is deeply appreciated. Now, we we'll go over here. Now we go and assemble all this crap together. There we go. So now you have a pretty decent build. So this thing recovers super fast. Uh, it is able to do a lot of good stuff. Skip all this, and start the mission. Here we continue on. Now we pop up this shield. We go and we plank these guys. We go and we shoot these things. We take three shots each, and we get to this door. Make sure to keep the shield up, because this is going to be just enough to keep you uh, getting an S rank as, you know, if you run into bad situations. Sometimes you get bar bad RNG and stuff ends up going and hiding behind walls and stuff like that, so you just do what you do. Now we go up here. Link these three. Got very good RNG on those. Hit that guy. Hit that guy. Fortunately, bad RNG on him. He likes to hide behind the elevator sometimes. He's a little bit insecure. It's fine. It happens over here. Uh, thanks to the birdies, we're able to move quite a bit faster. 
um, able to overboost for a little bit on this last part here if needed, but honestly it's just not worthwhile. Um, you'll end up burning through a lot of energy, and you kind of need that for this last turn. So, go over here, recover a little bit. Got a pretty decent amount of recovery going. Uh, when he gets stuck in the box over there, it's good times. Generally means he's not going to be able to do anything. Go over here, hopefully everybody just lines up to get shot. Good, they did. For some reason that last guy ended up going and hiding in here. Hopefully that won't cost us the S-Rank. We'll see. If it did cost us the S-Rank, I'm just going to have to start this over again. That'd be like the fifth time or something. So, we'll see. Anyway. Turns out it's a little bit wonky when you want to get the sniper rifle. Um, because if you want to get the sniper and you want to get the other thing, um, apparently sometimes it just plain doesn't give it to you even if you actually made it under that time. But uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, da -da -da, S and rifle. Okay, got them both this time. Now, over here, sell stuff. Sell that rifle because who needs it? Now that rifle is going to be good. Over here, and now we get uh, one of the uh, last couple things that we're going to need. So we go. Pick up the 002. That thing is freaking awesome. We go over here, increase generator capacity, and there we go. We're right on the money. Uh, this, uh, this is pretty much all we're going to need. So there we go. Increase capacity, and there is your S rank build. Um, at least I have some paint on it. Let's see. What kind of colors do we have going on here? There we go. Let's make it a weird friggin' pink. Or, you know what? No, let's not make it pink. Make it blue. There we go. There we go. That looks good. Give it a name. Like Fizzy Bob. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, wow, this looks actually kind of underpowered for an S-rank build, but here's the thing. Got pretty decent defenses. Uh, if you want to slap some side shields on it, if you want to go and uh, add some extensions to it, this thing is basically three sources of cheap energy damage uh, that are able to recover super quick. So m in most cases, you'll you know you can kind of adjust your damage output as needed. So like let's say for this guy, we we'll just go and completely plink him. So we see that we're getting a little bit low. We just switch over to only the pulse rifle. It's fine. Granted, it's not perfect for the arena. Uh, some decoys would probably be nice as an inside part. Um, you know, this thing generally takes only a few seconds to recover. Got pretty decent defenses against... Well, against Shell, it's lacking a little bit in energy defenses, but generally you can just dodge that sort of stuff, and you won't run into it that much if you're going for S-rank builds, or S-rank runs. Also, wow, little one is very talkative today. So you can uh, upgrade it for a laser rifle later on, you're going to be a little bit slower. You know, if you need that extra oomph, you can switch to something else. Generally, I like to do uh, rifle and shield, like especially going for uh, side shield. So you can get some pretty consistent damage going with this thing. You know, you can pop these out for that extra. Uh, also, this thing burns through ammo pretty quick if you're using it early on. But it's got that nice blue circle going for it. Nice. I like it. Now we skip past that part. And do Seventh Heaven too, but yeah. Let's say going for other missions, like let's say you're going for this, uh, this disperse, uh, disperse the homeless mech pilots, because that happens all the time apparently. So these things don't move around much, you can just pop out this thing and just essentially have it clear out your periphery. Also, I'm gonna have to end this very soon here, because the uh, little one wants to play. But it's fine, I'll pass the 10 minute mark. So yeah, it's got decent output. You know, I don't know if there's a guarantee of an S rank here, but so far so decent. Generally speaking, uh, if you want to go for more of an um, insta-kill build, you'll want to get the uh, laser rifle down the road, but it's not available early on, so this is going to be your, you know, it's going to be up there in terms of your maximum damage. <laughs> Wait, this thing to load for ages. I don't really feel like waiting for it to load. A little recovery. It's 
got a, a lot of decent active recovery going on. But like if you're turning around a corner, your turn speed's not quite up to scratch, you can just do something like that. And shoot at a few different targets like this. You know, start running, uh, running low on energy a little bit. <laughs> Lacking overboost for when you might need it. So if you uh, definitely need to speed run stuff, then you know maybe you'd swap out for something a little different. Like I said, the aforementioned um, uh, double rifle and EO or um, and uh, OB kind of setup works pretty well. I've seen a lot of uh, people do that for runs. Yeah, for an early S rank build, I think this is pretty decent. Uh, you can set it up in under 10 minutes, and uh, you're good to go. Um. Really, not much more to say about it. I mean, it can put out like I think it's like 1700 with all the stuff combined. There we go. S rank on that. And yeah, let me know if this was helpful. Hopefully, it was.